Welcome to this instructional video about per capita growth rate. So we're going to learn how to calculate per capita growth rate. Now what per capita means is per individual, the growth of the population per individual. And we have a formula for that. That is per capita growth rate, or CGR, is equal to delta M, that means change in the number or change in the size of the population, divided by the size the population was before the change happened. So we'll, we'll define what those variables mean in just a moment, but I want to make sure we don't confuse that with the growth rate formula. GR is equal to delta N over delta T, where delta T is change in time. In a per capita growth rate calculation, we don't really care what the time frame is. Uh, in a growth rate calculation, it's the, the change in the population size per unit time, not per individual. So we're not doing that one in this video. We will do this one in a subsequent video uh, coming up shortly. But what we want to do is per capita growth rate. So CGR is equal to, well, that is the per capita growth rate. Again, per capita means per individual. What we need to know to calculate that is we need to know the change in the population size. We use N for this because N just means number, change in the population number or change in the population size. And N is equal to the original population, what the population was before any change happened. All right, so again, it's a three variable formula, so as long as you know two of the three variables, you can calculate the third. It doesn't matter which two you have, you can always calculate that third one. Now, I want to just make a, a mention about this one right here, the change in population size. Change in population size is a relatively easy thing to calculate. Essentially, we just need to add together all those things that will cause the population to increase in size, and then subtract all those things that will cause the population to decrease in size. So what are those things? Well, what can cause a population to, to grow and get bigger would be natality. Now, natality means birth rate. How many were born? comes from the, the beginning of the word N-A-T, nate. Think of the word native, someone who was born in a certain area. Uh, the neonatal unit of a hospital. Natal means babies being born. Uh, nation, a group of people all born in the same place. So natality is birth. Now, what's the opposite of that? Well, that would be mortality. Mortality would tend to cause the population to go down. So we'd want to subtract the mortality, the number of individuals that die. So again, we've got the M-O-R-T, think mortuary, uh, where bodies, dead bodies are stored. Uh, morgue, um, mortal enemy, right? The enemy is going to kill you. M-O-R-T means death. Uh, then we're going to have individuals could move into a population. So we call that immigration. How many move into a population that increase the size of that population? And then the opposite of immigration to move out is Emigration. So, natality tends to increase the population size, mortality would decrease it, immigration would increase it, and emigration would decrease it. So, we want to add natality, subtract mortality, add immigration, and subtract emigration to get our change in population size. Um, now, this could be negative number. There's no reason you can't have a negative per capita growth rate. The population could be declining. That means we'd have a negative answer. So delta N could be positive, or it could be negative. It could be either one. And our original population size, well, this has to be a positive number. You have to have some individuals in that population to begin with, or you can't have any natality. Um, wouldn't work. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of how we do the calculation. All right, here we've got a sample question that involves terrible. So we've got the woodland caribou, and then it gives us a scientific name, Rangifer tarandus, has been declared a species at risk. In 1982, there were an estimated 193,260 woodland caribou. So that's what we're starting with. That would be our value of N. That is our original, I shouldn't cover that up, can't read it. That's our original population size. So N. It was right there, 193,260. Uh, by 2002, the population had declined to an estimated 188,850. 
So this is what the population has changed to. Now, that's not our delta M. That's not what the population change was. That's what our new population is. So in this case, we're not given mortality, natality, immigration, or emigration. We're just given the total of all those things. We're, we're given what the population was. So we're going to have to do a quick little calculation to figure out delta M. So I'll just do it down here. Let's write our formula. CGR equals delta N over N. But we're going to need to find delta N. So delta N is our change in population size. It was originally uh, 193,260, but it is now 188,850. So the population has obviously gone down. So let's figure this out. It's 188,850 minus what it was before, 193,260. So we're going to definitely get a negative number here. And I'll just get out my calculator because I'm too lazy to do this in my head. 188,850 minus 193,260. I get an answer of negative 4,410 caribou. That's how much the population has climbed. That's our delta n. So I can go ahead and put that into my formula here. Negative 4,410 caribou divided by, we had, beginning, let's not forget, our original n, 193,260 caribou. All right, so let's not get the wrong number here. We want to make sure that right here we get the original N population, not what it is in the future or what it is at the end of the, the uh, time frame here. We don't want 188,850. We want what it was before. Now, another thing that we can point out here is that if we've got caribou over caribou, that will cancel, just like um, X over X would cancel in a math problem. Caribou over caribou will cancel, which makes this a unitless number. That means there, there will be no unit when we're done our calculation. The units count. So all I have to do now is enter in my calculator negative 4,410 divided by 193,260. And I get an answer of 0 0.2. Oh, sorry. Get that right. 0 0.02 Okay, that's what my calculator tells me. You know, obviously, I've got to worry about some significant digits. Technically, here, playing the significant digit game, you've got four digits. One, two, three, four here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six here. So using our rules, we should use um, four significant digits. Uh, let me remember to put a negative sign there. I almost forgot. That would be tragic to forget that negative. We have a negative here. Negative right there. We've got to have a negative here. All right. So it's a negative. Uh, so technically four significant digits, but if I read the information in the question, right here it says record your answer as a value between 0 and 1 rounded to two decimal places. So rounded to two decimal places, that would be 0 decimal 0 02. Occasionally on these questions it might ask you for a percent, just multiply by 100 to get a percent, that would be equivalent to 2%. In this particular question it's not asking us for the percentage. But that's certainly something that, that could be asked on a per capita growth rate calculation. It's quite common to express it as a percent. All right, so there's one where we were just given the population before and the population after. Now let's look at one where we're actually told how many died and how many moved in and how many moved out and so on. So we'll have to do a little rearranging. Let's do some erasing here and make some room. All right, so we've got a question about elk. The elk population of this area, this is uh, an extended question from another one. Uh, at the beginning of the study year was 500. If there were 35 births and five deaths throughout the year, what was the per capita growth rate for the elk population during that year? So once again, let's start with our formula. CGR equals delta N over N, where in this case, well, we're going to have to do a little calculation of delta N. Remember, delta N is natality minus mortality plus immigration minus emigration. Now, we're not told anything about immigration or emigration here. 
There are no elk moving into the area. There's no elk moving out. So all we have to worry about is the natality, which would be a positive, minus the mortality, that's a negative. So we've got 35 were born, that's our natality, minus 5 were five died, that's our mortality, which means we get an overall change of positive 30, and these are L. So, in our formula, CGR is equal to 30 elk divided by what the population was at the beginning of this study. So the population at the beginning of the study, 500. And again, that's 500 elk. And elk over elk will cancel. Leaving us with just 30 divided by 500. Both numbers are positive, so our answer will be positive. And we get an answer of 0 0.06. Again, a unitless number because L over L cancels. And that leads us to select answer B, 0 0.06. Note that answer C is 6. Well, if you had converted to a percent, it could be 6%, but it doesn't say percent. So that's why we go with 0 0.06.